All right, all right, here we go with another multiplayer round. See how we do. Been in a little bit of a funk these last couple days. Um, so recently got some feedback that the sound quality or the audio quality of some of these videos are not great. So I apologize if it's been hard to hear in some of these. I tried to uh, uh, mute uh, the game sound um, for this one. So let me know if this one's any better or if it's just still kind of poor quality and it's tough to hear what I'm saying. Um, kind of pointless to make these if it's hard to even hear what we're saying. I know the, I'm sure the Daddy and Emily ones are, are hard sometimes because they're kind of passing the phone around and the phone's not, not necessarily side moving all over. So um, definitely doesn't surprise me on those. Either way, try to make things better. This is definitely not my expertise. Um, but I want to, if I'm going to post them, I might as well put something out there that's worth, worth watching and listening to. So here we go. Got some tough competitors. Make sure I don't screw this up. 51 feet headwind. So this is going to pop up quite a bit. So I'm going to take, take quite a bit off of this just to make sure. And I almost, almost missed it. So we all start off with the eagle. I haven't aced this one in so long. It would be nice to get it's, it's definitely a tough one, but it's definitely a safe bid. Pretty much if you miss long, it's going to roll back down towards the basket. So anything other than a big tailwind, I like to go with the glide roll and just kind of with this wind, I'm going to aim down at this rock here, put quite a bit of hyzer to combat this left to right. And it's going to be a little bit left. It looks like it would have been low. Definitely a tough one to get. I know you can get like a, you know, a skip fairway that can get there too and have a chance. Um, but that's my line. I get it every once in a while, just not very often. But either way, it's a safe bid and usually end up within putting range when I miss. Par three coming up. This one's definitely gettable. The safe bid is either the Fuse or the Svi. It's just, you can't get there, but it's always going to be safe. I like to go with the warship here. It gives me a shot at it. I'm gonna put that top chevron down on the basket with this wind, and I think I'm just gonna pull straight down and see how we do. It's looking like pretty good. Not, didn't quite come back enough. Might have been a little short too with the, the height, but Either way, 59 feet, a little touchy with this wind, so we're trying to be careful here. We got it. So we're all tied after windswept fields. Looks like we might have Enzo coming up with all par fours. So we'll see. Oh, it's not. So with this wind, I'm still going to throw the glide roll. Just hopefully... Uh, we don't get a bad roll or it doesn't carry too far and get into the water, but I think this is going to be just fine. Looks like, oof. Poika, it's hard to tell with that follow flight if he's in the water or not. I'd really love to run this, but again, I'm trying to resist those urges when it's not a safe, safe bid, which is definitely not a safe bid there. So man, Poika must have been in the water at first and then he went in the water trying to make up for that shot. So he ended up with the bogey there. So we're tied with, with Disc Vire Pro. This one's a bit of a tough wind. I'm gonna, I usually go glide turn here, but with this wind, I'm gonna go light glide. And I'm just gonna pull it straight down with this aim point. I think that'll be good for it to kind of just come back and combat that wind after it turns a little bit. Should be all right. Probably could have gone glide skip, but I wanted to just make sure I made it across and that's just fine. 284, not really gonna be going for this, just trying to get it up there. This is the, the Vandal. Put a little bit of hyzer to combat the wind. Come on back. Just missed the big tooth there, so right where we were trying to go. Easy putt for birdie. 
and we are six under after five. Another par four coming up. I think there's only one left. And this is it, so a good win, but it definitely a tough win because you can go long into the water if you miss everything. So I'm gonna try to be a little smart here, not take a penalty stroke and throw the glide roll. The challenge here is actually I'm gonna go I'm gonna go glide turn and I'm gonna take a little bit off of it. Don't usually like taking up. Ah, oh, come on, stay straight. Okay. That's still going to be long. Hit the tree. So I even powered down a little bit. I think the glide roll ride might have worked with that wind. Did anyone know? They both missed for the eagle. See if we can get this on a forehand. It's definitely going to become more overstable with this huge tailwind. So let's see if we can judge this right. Got it. Nice little touchy forehand throw in there from about 130 to take the lead with one course to go. A couple par fours and a par three. We got some downtown action. This one, just play it safe. This is the beast. I'm gonna pull this straight down. Hit that left to right. Should end up right next to the sidewalk. Not even, so nice and safe. I think a lot of people throw the glide skip here just to give you a shot, but I don't like to do that because you can end up long into the trees. With this tailwind, I'm just going to throw a glide roll and throw it nice and high. Let that wind take it and avoid any you know thick parts of the trees to slow it down. Not too shabby. Easy little birdie putt. We got two holes to go, par four and a par three. The challenge for me is if I got a one shot lead and that par three is one of my aceable holes to just resist that urge and play smart. But I'm gonna go glide turn here, pretty much straight down. Uh oh, come on wind, come on wind. All right, I think we might've lucked out. Oof, hit that edge there. Careful not to miss this left. Yeah, I was worried about missing left, so I kind of overturned it, but that's all right. We didn't need the eagle. Easy as pie, nice birdie there. One hole to go. I had climbed up to 10th place, and then I've kind of dropped since, so I think I'm hovering around 900 again. So let's see if we can play smart and make, make a bit of a, a climb again. This wind is a little tough here. I'm gonna keep my same aim point, but just put some turn into it. And hopefully the wind does its job and brings it back safely. It's gonna be left to the basket, but it should be safe. Oh, we might've got lucky kind of flop and roll, but it's rolling deep. Stop. So it's gonna make us work for this. It's gonna be a touchy shot with this headwind. Left to right wind. But he got a par, so basically we just need a par here and we got the wind. Hopefully we can still make this. Oh, oh man. Glad we didn't need that because that would have been mad. But we got the par. I'm not sure why the wind didn't bring it more to the right there, but either way, good win for us. I'm going to listen to this audio, see if it sounds any better. If you have any other feedback on what I can do to make any of these videos better for you, uh, I'm always open to any feedback and appreciate y'all watching me play some DGV.